Hey there folks, Comics Gatekeeper Yeah, and uh, I'm reviewing Joker's Last Laugh uh, Let's see uh, All the supervillains are put away on a super secret island with uh, well, it's like, kind of like Alcatraz and um, Joker, having been recaptured has something in his blood so when he causes a massive riot the chemicals they produce in uh, to su suppress all the bad guys they do something crazy they turn everyone in the prison into jokers so there are metahuman jokers, teleporter jokers, big strong jokers and everyone's now a joker so that's only the beginning though because one of them teleports yeah he gets out of the prison a bunch of them and uh, yes yeah, someone else teleports the um, the whole of uh, the prison island to limbo it's literally just a white space with the island floating it and Nightwing is stuck in there with all the with all the bad guys that didn't come with Joker so yeah that's very strange uh, yeah Joker's got a plan though he's not just turning random villains into Jokers he's going to do it on a global scale he's gonna fire up a big cloud seeding rocket thing and it's gonna rain Joker juice on everyone wouldn't that be nice millions of people billions of people sorry laughing until they die so yeah the Justice League has to assemble to stop him and um, Nightwing has to find a way to get them back to reality now he's got a fella a fella who um, who has the powers to uh, teleport them back except he's brain dead he got shot in the face now there's a fella he's a little ear, earworm type fella that can take people over he can get in there and use his powers but he doesn't quite know how to use the powers and then there's another fellow who every time he did dies he comes back with a different power so they have to keep killing him and trying to work out how to resurrect the the, the teleporter man <laughs> to find a way back and when they do eventually find a way back the prison is now in the uh, the arctic <laughs> but yeah the, yeah um these are going to be massive spoilers obviously but yeah you find out the joker's doing all this because he's got cancer he is riddled with cancer so uh, they track down the doctor who um, said he had cancer, asked him about it, and the, the doctor confesses, yeah, he didn't have cancer, I just hate him, I was fucking with him the whole time. I showed him tumours, I did them with a pen on, on the x-ray. <laughs> he just used the colouring pen on the x-ray, yeah, this is a tumour. But uh, yeah, so the Joker thinks he's got nothing to lose, I'm really going to fucking go for it and take the world with me because some doctor thinks he's a dick and uh, yeah so yeah they stop the Joker and save the day obviously and uh, there's like a dark warning to the doctor that the, the Joker's so very gonna break out find him and murder him but yeah it's interesting it's um, I liked it because the Joker's never really been um, like a JLA style global threat he's always just been in Gotham I thought well he's, he's a genius he, he definitely should be a, a big fat threat so I saying that fast. Big fat threat. Ooh, like my sister. Uh, so yes. So it is. This is a good, uh, good jolly romp and uh, a good old adventure. Oh, hang on. Have I just? Yeah. Ooh, I'm not going to spoil that part of the ending. Yeah. There's a there's an ending in a church, but it's not shit like Lost. It's it's actually quite a good ending. Definitely, this one would be of the two Joker things I've recently reviewed. This one would be the one to buy. Okay, folks. Take care and later.